Hey, everyone, and welcome back to Enigmatica 6. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Isaac, How's it going, man? How are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. Oh, doing I love to hear it, man. well. I am also doing well, my friend. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Base of Dreams, also known as the Swamp Zone. Is, the, Isaac. <laughs> is this the Base of Dreams? It's the Base it's of our dreams, man. The one that is in the ho- that has the horrible water and the horrible grass. And the frog croaking sound 24-7, 365, like, is this the base of dreams? I still find that frog croaking sound quite therapeutic. Maybe it's because my, like, ambient sounds are down. Or maybe just because my, I always have the volume in my headphones turned really low. But I just feel, I feel like I'm, you know, in the vineyards of Italy, Isaac. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, you know, I've never been to the vineyards of Italy. But I don't that, think they have frogs, man. Well, like, maybe they do. You don't know that. <laughs> I'm sure they have lots of frogs. I imagine they have pretty strict like pest control to make sure that there's no, like nothing no, no. there. But frogs, frogs eat the pests, Isaac. Frogs eat the pests. All right. Uh, does anyone know the frogs eat grapes? <laughs> <Is> they, <laughs> the do frogs the frogs do? drink wine? <laughs> Just frogs getting getting absolutely plastered. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder they're so loud, man. <laughs> oh, just having a great time. <sighs> but yeah, that's 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 what I like to imagine this place is like, Isaac. It's just a work in progress, all right? It's a work in progress. I mean, that's fair, man. That's fair. We, uh, we've got some work to do, man, because in the last stream, we set up the quarry, the uh, RF Tools builder out here, right, in quarry mode. And uh, we also set up the thermo generator, which is producing power for the quarry. We got the basic mechanical pipe up and running. That's extracting from the sink. And uh, don't worry about that. Everything is fine. So what we need to do is we need to get the stuff out of here. And then depending on what stuff it is, we have to get some of that stuff into the ore processing plant, some of that stuff into like a fire pit somewhere, and some of that stuff into our storage crates, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Yes, we do. Because I'm assuming... As soon as this chest gets full, regardless of if this builder can find more of what's in this chest, it stops anyway, regardless, because it's going in like a linear path. So when yeah. chest is full, stop mining. Doesn't matter if it can possibly store more of more items in this chest uh, yes. of what's already existing. It just stops anyway because it, it follows a linear path. And so if it comes across something new, that's it. Yeah, especially because we chose to put it in clearing mode so that it's picking yeah. up every single block as opposed to just the good yeah, all stuff. Yeah, crap. All this freaking gab, bro. It's, what is that? It sounds like, it sounds like ham in, like, Spanish, man. Like, We've got a freaking geode, man. Oh, yeah. There's actually a pretty... If you if you grab that geode and, uh, and, and come with me, the geode is actually part of the Tetra mod, the mod that hey, adds um, the, uh, the funky crafting table. So if... Do you have your Tetra hammer on you? Uh, yeah, yes. Okay, I do. if you come over to, I assume this is our Tetra table. Mm-hmm. If you put the geode in the Tetra table. Okay, I put it in. There we go. Oh, I can break it open. It's a yeah, Kinder egg. exactly. Oh, a Kinder surprise. Here we go. What'd you get? Oh, I got eight silver nuggets. Oh, 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 that's I almost think. a full ingot worth. That's, a full, that's not too yeah. bad. It's all right. Can I, um... So can I buy more geodes with my winnings, Isaac, and then win nothing from them? <laughs> um, I don't know if you can actually, like, geode. I don't know if there's a way to make geodes. Oh, I mean, I'm looking. We've got two more in oh. one of these chests. Here you go, Isaac. I'll give you one. It's the freaking scratch geode. card effect, man. Nick's hooked. <laughs> right. Oh, more. Back to the touch table. Oh, here we go. I've just bought more geodes. Oh, I don't think I've got anything, Isaac. All right, well. Oh, no, actually, I got... I got nine copper nuggets, which is enough for an ingot. Oh, so... I got four lapis, man. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's, that's not bad quite at all. useful um, if I hadn't gone and collected some at a previous date. But even oh still, my. that's, it's, uh, that's, it's that's all good a, stuff, isn't it? A fun little bit of uh, of gambling, Nick, to start the yeah, stream. Start the stream. Don't gamble, kids. <laughs> don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. It's not worth it, man. Also, chat is pointing out that maybe frogs are a bit too small to eat grapes. <laughs> 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 uh, I imagine them need to get like about. a like a snake and they just have a little bump in their belly yeah. after they've swallowed the whole grip. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Uh, it's like that. Well, they have huge flabby chins, don't they? Maybe they maybe it's got grape in it. They're just storing the, the squirrel style, just storing yeah. all the grapes inside. Exactly. Exactly. 
So I'm going to work on the pipe edge, Nick. Do you want to work on setting us up, Nick, with what might be our favorite mod, or at least our favorite type of mod, Nick? I want you to work on refined storage, man. Oh, yes. Yes, I know the one, Isaac. I know the one. Let me pull out my refined storage folder. If you go to your quest book, the first few quests are actually very generous in that they give us a lot of what we need to get started. The first oh, one gives right. you slime and string, which you need to make the processor binding, which is nice. You might have to go through to the nether to get some nether quartz to make silicon, potentially. I see, I see, okay. But then, and then you can also make, you know, quartz rich iron with that uh, nether quartz as well. So if you wanna go grab some nether quartz and then kind of start working down this uh, RS tree, I don't think that's gonna be too difficult, man. While you do that, I'm gonna uh, pretty this place up. Nick, oh, sorry, uh, gorgeous this place up with some gorgeous yeah, pipes. Yeah, don't, don't use regular words, guys. <laughs> come on, we've been through this. <laughs> Our all new stunning pipes. Uh, so yeah, stunning pipes. Absolute 10 out of 10 <laughs> pipes. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that texture, man. They're so, they're so slender, Nick. And also, Isaac, uh, so, they're, oh. they're just so true to themselves. They are, man. They are. They don't pretend to be anything they're not. You exactly. Know? Naturally pretty, you know. <laughs> no, 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 no filters of paint or yeah. anything else. Oh. Oh, it's just, you know, true to form. Hashtag no they're, they're owning their o themselves. I they are, man. They're, and they're that's, owning it. You know, and they've got the confidence to do that, man. And that, that in and of itself is uh, is attractive. It's, it's yeah. It's like um, it's gorgeous. <laughs> it's like what that one singer once said. Um, you you you're beautiful just the way you are. It's Bruno Mars, wasn't it? I was like, <laughs> yeah, I'm I thinking of. As Bruno yeah. Mars once famously said, uh, "You're beautiful, comma." Just the way you are. Full stop. I, I, and also, I'm going to say, Isaac, I'm an idiot, comma, just the way I am. Just the way I've come to the are. nether with a broken pickaxe. Ah, um, yes, that would be... I mean, I can lend you my uh, diamond delabra. If please. you were... Uh, or dolabra, yes. if yeah, you're... Uh, I'm going to come just, home. Here we go. Just I'm just just slash home, man. Yeah, I'll do it. Hey, hey, man. Slash home. Oh, well, I don't know where you're slash... Oh, hello. Hi, right, here's, here's my... Uh, here's Thank my you bar. so there much. You yeah, enjoy. I'm assuming you don't want my my broken broken <laughs> I'm, pickaxe. I'm good. You don't want to before trade. you uh, before you head back, I would love yes. your uh, consultation, Nick, Hi. on where you want this pipe to come in. Right? Do we want? Oh, yeah. Because we got a pipe from here. I'm thinking we. I mean, it depends on how much of kind of the industrial site look we want to go for. Do we want to run the pipe kind of underground and then have it kind of come up once it's inside the building, and then run across the room somewhere? Yes. Do we want to make it needlessly long and have like the pipe come in like yeah, over here? Yeah, like at the end, right? And like twist and turn really stupidly and randomly. <laughs> <laughs> like, like it's okay. from like a Dr. Seuss <laughs> book. All right, I'll make it, I'll make it work, man. Don't you worry. That's what I want. Cheers, I'm man. On it, Cheers, I'm on man. It. All right, I trust you. I'm only going away for like 10 minutes because I already found some quartz, but... Nice, nice. Yeah, you shouldn't need too much, I don't think. No, the, yeah. The grand yeah. scheme of things. I haven't actually looked at the recipes, but you know what I'm like, Isaac. I... Um, acquire first, look at recipes later. Yeah, which <laughs> never goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not so sad. Uh, was it? S a foolproof tactic. It's a foolproof tactic. Oh, is 100%. It foolproof? 100%. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, hey, Ben, man, you, you've, been, uh, you've been enjoying lockdown? I've been I've been good, man. So, I had my first day off work in a while today. Um, and I've just been, like, sitting, uh, watching TV. Um, I tell you what. All right, Isaac. <laughs> I got ready. something to I got something to talk about, man. I think something's happened with one of my feet. I think <laughs> what? <laughs> right, okay. I, I thought you think, were going. Gonna... Oh, yep. I I, I I think right. <laughs> one of my feet are growing, but not the other foot. <laughs> <laughs> At the age of what, 22, you think one of your feet has begun growing again? I, I, I mean, I, was, the, I, I don't, don't ask me. I'm asking these questions too. Okay, and yeah, okay. I'm just asking. So here's what's happening. So over the last few months, at random, a load of my right socks have started getting holes in them, like where the toes are. And, and you think it's, it's kind of like a, the Hulk situation where you're right toe is just kind of getting bigger and bigger and ripping the holes in your pre-existing clothing i think so man because at first uh, so i i have lost i've had some pairs of socks that i've had for years suddenly get holes in them i've had new pairs of socks isaac get holes in them i've had like medium 
um, length of time your socks get holes in them. And <laughs> yeah. here's the thing. So I, I was like, okay, let's, let's process of elimination this, this situation. Let me think. Um, is it like the something I'm doing? Is it like the washing machine? Um, is Am I doing something wrong? Like, you know, am I like accidentally wearing them on my fist? Yeah. My foot? Do you have like a, a bed of nails underneath your desk that you kick with your right foot? You know, all yeah, these kind of things you need to, yeah. to figure out. Yeah. Here's the thing. Well, it's, it's, it's always my right foot and it's always like the um like big toe um right okay yeah yeah so i don't know what's going on man and um i wanted to actually talk about it on some medium here because like it's just so bizarre is this is this does this normal does this happen to anyone i mean my socks break from time to time i've not noticed a distinct preference to which foot uh, the holes appear in. I think if I were to guess, it'd probably be like an even, you know, 50-50 standard deviation spread over the lifetime of my socks. But um, I don't know, man. You need to, um, what you need to do is if you think, you, if you, you know, really think this is happening, you need to start taking some measurements. Yeah, yeah. That's what's been suggested to me. So what I'm going to have to do, you know, like when you're little and you're growing and you've got that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, um, the height chart. Oh. I'm gonna like steal one of those, like you know, clocks. <laughs> the the U. It's a, if people who don't know, it's like a oh. UK based tailored shoe shop. They like measure your foot, yeah, really like accurately with this like foot scale thing. I want one of those, and I'm gonna measure it, Isaac, and I'm gonna see if there's any correlation. I was hoping you would do something like how when kids are growing, they kind of like you know, it's it's not uncommon for for parents to like have like a wall maybe in like their kitchen or on a door frame they just kind of mark the height off what i want you to do because i want you to go into your kitchen <laughs> and then just put your foot up against the door frame and just draw a line yeah. where your foot ends and then every every week go in and put another line yeah yeah i should do that I and if anyone that. asks just be like yeah that's my that's my foot <laughs> when i get when i get charged for damage <laughs> when i move out of this place i'm gonna be like hey you know, mm. wear a tag. It's just part, part of the part, it's of, the part, of, part of family life, man. Come exactly. on, exactly. Come on, what are you doing to me? Can't please, me for that. <laughs> don't evict me, please, please. <laughs> yeah, uh, so that's what's that's what's been happening to me recently. And I, I, the reason I'm bringing this up is because I'm currently wearing a right sock that's got a hole in it. That you know, and these aren't cheap socks, by the way. Right. I Isaac, I want to put it out there. Like I, these socks are probably would be classed on the more expensive side. Um. So it makes me sad. Makes it's me still, sad. Still breaking. Yeah, still breaking. Yeah, I mean, I, I hit, you know, I will put on a, uh, a broken sock uh, every now and again, like a sock with a hole in it, you know, and just kind of roll with it. But it is, it's it's not a nice feeling, man. You know, if 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 I could, I would uh, I would make sure that I, you know, if I could, uh, if I was a millionaire, I would definitely maybe have somebody who was in charge of making sure that all of my socks were not, uh, were not hold socks before I put them on in the morning. You know? It's like, um, maybe it'll come into fashion, right? Like, you know how you get those stupid gloves, Isaac, with holes where the fingertips are? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I've I always understand. thought, well, why are you wearing gloves? <laughs> <laughs> because it can't be to protect you from the cold. Because then... Yeah. Because then surely you'd be wearing... Real gloves. Full, real full gloves. gloves. Yeah. And surely it can't be for safety protection because then you'd be wearing real full gloves. gloves. I think, yeah. from what I've heard, there are two lines of thought as to why people wear these gloves right option number one is that they want to use like a phone and they can't touch the screen like with their gloves on right so they want the like they need to be able to use a touch screen but they also need want their hands to be warm so they warm up most of the hand but leave the fingertips you know bare yeah uh, the second option um i guess is just like general dexterity right like you definitely lose a few dexterity points when you move from regular full fingered gloves to oh, for, from no no gloves to gloves but then if you uh, get your fingertips back you, you gain like a little bit of like grip a little bit of uh you know extra motion you know I, i'm not saying i agree with it man but I, yeah <laughs> i think there might be some some small moments of logic to it maybe see see that phone one isaac was initially what i thought right but then yeah. you get all these all these gloves these days that have capacitive fingertips sure so you know <laughs> surely you think people just get that um, but what if you already have the the other gloves that's true that's true <laughs> and get yeah, new ones. maybe maybe <laughs> who knows man 
Who knows? Yeah, maybe they're all just uh, relics, you know? Maybe they are. But but what my my the point that I was going to come to was maybe right Tola socks will become like a a thing. Right. right, like a new, a new in thing, a new craze. Yeah, yeah, totally. Because you can wear them with sandals. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and you say it wouldn't look too bad. Yet you'd still have generally warm feet. Also, would you wear? Would you wear taller socks with sandals? I mean, maybe, maybe not. So you can still fit your. You can maybe still not. Fit your <laughs> feet. <laughs> Probably not. But um, here's the thing: a lot like ripped jeans. If you yeah. get holes in your socks, you can call it fashionable. Mm. You know. So actually, it's turning the whole shebang on its head. The trouble is, though, that people don't really um, don't really like show their socks off very often. No, that's true. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So unless you come up with like a, a reason, like a, a place or a, an event that requires shoes to be removed, I don't know if you're gonna be able to to brag about your your ripped socks, man. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. But yeah, um, that, so that's that's the that's the that's what my my play is, Isaac. Tola socks. The sell pitch. Is this like exactly. an industry that you think we should break into? Maybe, and it's easy, right? We just buy a load <laughs> of socks and freaking just get the scissors out and then sell them for like pay for like Instagram advertising because you know that's the way to get in these days. Yeah, all and the kids just are freaking on Tola socks. You um. I mean, yeah, like, let's go. Yeah. Let's, you think we can get some, like, venture capital startup fund to... Uh, oh, you just t- get to a flight <laughs> to California, right? So yeah, get a cap- venture capital fund for anything these days. We've got to, we've got to think of a name, though, Nick, for the for the company that mirrors the fact that it's taller socks, but also has, like, a new modern ring to it, right? Oh, yeah. It has to be called, like, Sock, S-O-K, right? Or C-O-K, <laughs> right? right? Mm. I feel like we need to get rid of the O. I feel like the O symbolizes the whole yeah, in yeah. our socks, right? That's true. That's the thing, isn't it, with the modern day of doing it? Remove all vowels yeah. and, and change all consonants to a different consonant, which has the same general sound. I see uh, holy toes in the Twitch chat. That's not a, <laughs> that's not a bad one. I like one. that. Um, I was thinking just something like SKS, just like a uh, just socks. So, that's very Scandinavian, Isaac. I like it. I like it. Maybe that, that's the S-K-S. play, man. Yeah, yeah. Maybe like this. Play. You know, capital yeah, K. Yeah, capital K. It's pronounced socks. And it would have its own <laughs> app, right? No, I don't know why, but it would. And then we can make the second S like backwards a, as well, you know? Yeah, so yeah. So it's symmetrical. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Perfect. Awesome. There you go. Well, <laughs> if if we don't do it, Isaac, someone will. And if someone does, at least give us some free samples, please. Like, please. please. That's all we ask. Nick just needs socks. That's all we want. <laughs> just needs socks. But, but the problem is that I have all these socks with holes in them. I don't want more. <laughs> oh, no. What have I done? What have I done? I tell you what, though. Um, Quite recently, I watched a documentary on how socks were made. Uh, oh, ask. yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not going to lie, Nick. If, if I was browsing Netflix, I don't think that would be the first thing to... Uh, to catch my attention, but no, <laughs> no. Well, you one. you know me, Isaac. You know I've been watching a lot of TV recently, and it was on TV. And I'm not gonna lie, man. It's pretty fascinating. Really? Yeah. Like it's very, very like there these really cool, precise sewing machines, like weaving and whirling away to produce these socks. Um, and it's like there's a lot of like human work involved. There's a lot of machine work involved, and it's like it's pretty crazy. Like it really, it really like educating me on that why socks are cheap is because you can't you can't get that without economies of scale yeah like if, if i tried to make a sock isaac well the, it would be it have to be like a hundred quid man because yeah if you were like sit down like, and sew one together yeah yeah exactly exactly but yeah that was that was fascinating um hey man i'm getting through these freaking quests at an alarming I speed drive I nice. think I'm getting getting on at alarming speeds. I think mm, I lost my disk drive. Do you have um do you have like focus? Do I have focus? Like and by that I mean like are you are you focusing on the things that we actually need to make a usable system or are you focusing on the things that you can make and just making them? So I'm I'm doing this quest line um yes. step by step, and I'm assuming by like the quest that I'm doing are leading towards what I'm assuming is a usable system. Like right now it's disk drive and disk, yeah. for those controller, for those processors. So I'm assuming yeah. as soon as After I complete that, this one, yes. we're in the money. 
Right. You after this one, you want to go grid and then crafting grid. Once you have the crafting grid, we're good to go. We're okay, Gucci. this is this is very good. This yeah. is very good. Okay, Bingo. cool. Let me um let me I've I think I've lost my disk drive. Either that or I never made one in the first place. Right. Could it be might have been when if you depending on how you made the recipe, it might have gone into one of these drawers potentially. Yeah, let me Although um, potentially not. Let me get my glasses out. Um <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, not been wearing them this whole time. No, not in there. Oh, well. <laughs> That'd be problematic, to say the least, if they were wearing them this whole time. <laughs> Explain oh. a lot, though. Um, <laughs> here we go. I okay, want... can I make some of these? I don't know if we could share this, by the way. Like, I'm having some weirdness with the crafting grid. But like, it's always uh, yeah. weird for me. Yeah. It always seems to want to put, like, an extra item in that I didn't ask for. Oh you know? yeah, I've been experiencing that as well, Isaac. Yeah, yeah. I get I had a bit I got a bit of sand in there earlier and I was like, what is this? You know, freaking you know the, It's like when you I go to uh, like when you go to a YouTube video, you click on it and then you get this like short little video beforehand that you didn't ask for. I'm like, I what know. the heck you do I didn't ask for it this? Even, it doesn't even ask me if I you know, it doesn't even have the freaking audacity to to have the, you know, courtesy to enable me to choose not to view it, Isaac. Oh, dang it. Gosh, yeah, it. terrible. Can't win. Terrible. Uh, I've got a disc though. Nice. So yeah, I just need to make this freaking drive. Here we go. Boom. Okay, I'm, I'm, I mean, Nick, I'm taking your permission in regards to these pipes, Nick, and I'm gonna go buck wild. All right. I want to see. I'm. If, if you just think, Isaac, if you get a bit stuck, just think, Doctor Seuss. All right. Doctor Seuss. Okay. I want to see Doctor Seuss. Like, I want, like, a wacky, freaking, like, crazy, <laughs> like, aesthetic. Right? Just round and round and round and round, just spiral it all yeah, the way down. Yeah, I want, I want just the, 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 the best, the worst, best thing, and the best, worst thing you can possibly come up with. Um, right. There we go, drive. Okay. I'm sure right I'm man. It. You're not, you're yeah, not getting yeah. too, too hurt, are you? No, 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 no. Just like, you know, just standard workplace damages, you know, nothing, uh, yeah. nothing crazy. <laughs> I just like to think that on the health and safety, it's like reasonable reasonable amount of injuries allowed. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and then just like, just quote below, like, it happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, like back in the 1800s. How's this, man? Let's have a little look, Isaac. Don't for, mind for, me, I'm just spewing bits one. out my guts. This says uh, alright. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Yeah. 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 We still, we still, of course, there still like needs to be a split that goes over to here. So we're gonna have like another separation. And uh, now I can either make the separation here, or I can have it go like over the top of the water wheel. Ooh. I think you're gonna prefer it here, right? Like going this way and over. E either either works here. to be honest. But if I feel like we're having this big spider web of pipes, yeah. so potentially in the middle uh, will work quite well. Um. So that's that is that's all good, right? Okay. Here we go, right? Stage three, lads. I feel like I'm on a rocket ship with these. Get all these things. Here we go. All right. Uh, grid. So I want to make a uh, crafting grid, don't I? Okay. Okay. I see. How so make sure you're claiming those. And also, if you need more stuff, man, don't forget I can claim these rewards as well. Like if you need more quartz enriched iron, or oh, please, Isaac, claim claim the living daylights out of these uh, rewards. Are we, are we part of a team? Like <laughs> we're meant to be. <laughs> I'm. I'm like, I've, I've had to just manually claim the refined storage bit. Um, um, but were they complete? No, like, I had to manually claim the first quest, and then the second quest is not complete. Like, ah. I need you to hand me one of each processor, I guess, so I'm going to complete this quest. Oh, yeah, um, well, um, hmm. Allies. Yeah, we're both, we're, we're allies. We're meant to be in a team. We're meant to be. We're meant to be. But if you have the, these, yeah, if you have the three uh, things, man, I can. There you go. Yeah, I'll, uh. Oh, there you go. That's you know. I'll give you me right back. Here you go. Oh, cheers, man. Yeah, I didn't get any no, any no tiffs to say. There's that, that as well. Uh, uh, if you got that controller, man, and a cable, I can give you sixteen more cable. I'm just I've got cable there. Controller is is hiding in one of these somewhere. Let me see if I can fish it out for you. Oh yeah, it's right there. Oh I yeah, see it's it. there, there it is. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll put it. I'll put it back. There Thanks, you go. Man. And here's the here's the 28 cable that I have, and there's uh, another you. 16 cable now as well. There you go. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> you got the disc drive and the, the reroute these into disc the. And... Uh, yeah, yeah. I've got I've got the disc disc drives. I've disc got drives it. Yeah. There. there you go. Disc drive. Oh no, I don't. I don't got it. You picked it up. I see. Okay. There you go. 
You got a 1K disc? I got... Uh, Not to be confused with a wonky disc. Oh, no, it's in here. There we go. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you got it. You got oh, it. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'll put it back as well. And I'll claim the refined storage loot box and the two extra wonky discs. Here we go. Yep. All right. Refined storage loot box? Yeah. Have you claimed that quest? Uh, I think. Mate, discs and I drives. Think... You get random stuff. So much like, you know, how earlier in the pack, we got like random food items that were really good from the like farmer's loot boxes or whatever that we got given at the beginning. Uh, yeah. Right. So it gave me two advanced processors. That are now in here. Right. So is this like a physical item? Like if you go to your quest and click on the disk and drives. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Refined storage loot box. Oh. So you don't actually get the loot box, you'll just get random oh, items. You just get something. Yeah. Right. I've, I've been paying Bingo. no attention to what it's been giving me. I've <laughs> for been, a change, we yeah. could have the free kid. We could have like the end game <laughs> item for all I know, Isaac, and it's probably stuck in the attic somewhere. Who knows? Okay, that's good anyway. But oh, it's very it's good. good, man. Excellent. Okay, so that means, yeah, this is really good actually. So the only thing I need, to, so I need to make two grids. Here we go, grid. Uh, okay, I uh, need one of those. Oh yeah, this is uh, this is coming along, man. Very good, very good. A consortium core. God, it's like the emoji consortium in here. Here you go. <laughs> yeah. Consortium core. Uh, ah, ah! I need more processors. Here we Do go. you making us some grids? Just getting some some more raw basic processors, just the basic kind, Isaac. I yeah, think we've got we've got the we've actually got more of the good kind as a result of our awards than the basic kind. Um, I mean, we, we've mentioned before, Nick. You know how we're we're both a big fans of of basic. You know, we are. Forms. We are. Ba back to basics, man. Sometimes simple, simple is best, and that's what yeah. I'm feeling about these absolute stunner pipes. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, this this will become apparent uh, eventually. Chat. This is a freaking mess, dude. <laughs> oh, is it? It's all right, Isaac. It's I mean, right. but it looks great, man. I love it. If it, if I can get the filtering to work as I want it to work, it's gonna be just. It's gonna be beautiful. Watching if we can get. The filtering to work, and we can get items, we can get, like, enough power into the builder to run at max speed, and if we can get one of those, like, uh, potentially those pipe pressurizers that can, like, blast our items, oh, Nick, yeah, the yeah, items yeah. are going to be flying around, and it's going to look incredible, man. Oh, that's good. That's, that is... It's going to be, like, Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Oh, my God, don't. Just, uh, don't. You think you'd go <laughs> if you were invited? To Willy Wonka Wonka's Chocolate Factory? I think I'd pay a visit, you know. But like, if you uh, if you know you you, you went to the your local corner store, Nick, you know, you bought yourself a, a Snickers, and inside that Snickers was a ticket to to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. You think you'd go? Sell so on eBay, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Scalp it for five hundred quid. Buy some Bitcoin with it, or something like that. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. But given the events of the film, I'm a little dubious about the health and safety regulations. Here's the thing, right? Um, I've, I mean, actually, no, maybe something will awful will happen to me because I feel like the kids on Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, like they're quite dumb, right? Yeah. Apart from, did I call it Willy Wonka's Chocolate? Oh, no, it is Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Yeah, it is his Chocolate Factory, yeah. Sure. It, does, the Chocolate Factory does belong to him. Yes, at least at the start of the film. That's true. Slash book. <laughs> Do you reckon Charlie, like, did a hostile takeover? <laughs> <They're> later on. <laughs> I think he was given it, wasn't it? Like it was, it, like was I think he given it. Yeah, I that's what I, that's what he said anyway. Isaac. <laughs> In the court proceedings, yeah, he just yeah. gave it to me, man. Like, gave you know, it what else me. can I say? And they're like, well, Willy Wonka did disappear very mysteriously, <laughs> approximately seventeen years ago. Like, oh, I don't know, <laughs> seventeen years ago, must have fallen off a yacht or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Would you want to run a chocolate factory? Um. Hmm. I imagine it's less glorious than they make it out to be in the movies. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe. Because I guess if you run it, you're not on the shop floor, are you? Like the chocolate floor. Yeah, you're not the one like cracking open cocoa beans and. No, you're just calling up like different. You're calling up different people and making some business deals. Well, in actuality, really, you're just doing some talks and some social media posts and setting some strategies <laughs> yeah. based on advice that other people give you. I mean, I like to imagine that most of owning a chocolate factory is just uh, wandering around with a cane and top hat and just singing. Yeah, to the, uh... I mean, that's, that's probably what it is. 
I'm not going to lie, man. You think? That's probably what most of it is. And <laughs> to be fair, um, you get free samples still. It's not like yeah. you get any free samples from, from doing that. You get that, to try so. all the uh, like experimental flavors that they're working with. You know, it's like, oh, this week we've got honey mint chocolate. You know, that's, yeah. we're, we're going to try that out for so, Halloween. And you're trying, like, huh, I want a bill from, you know, the the round corporation like these <laughs> oh, business deals huh? and then you know that's all that's all that is what it is yeah um i was <laughs> you, tell you what actually i was can watching... I, I get the engineers hammer real quick before you, oh, you uh, absolutely can, Isaac. one second let me let me provide you with the goods uh Thank you. there it is there you go ty you were watching something on youtube i was watching kfc documentary right oh. don't ask um but um they their like r and d was was really funny like i i saw like the r and d session well not the r and d session but the r and d would be done but like the the testers like the corporate testers mm. um were like presented with the gravy burger oh um, I see. from r and d and they the corporate testers were like, well what i mean by corporate testers is like management right yeah yeah and yeah. like r and d presented they're like oh yeah this is like my uh, my baby i've been working on this for like 3 years the freaking gravy burger's got a freaking dip in it and then they were all like trying like mm, like yeah like this this actually works and then like the R&D team were like really nervous because they didn't know if it was going to get approved or not and then it got approved and it was like it was quite funny because I was thinking god I'd love to be upper manager at KFC you get to try <laughs> random stuff and just People approve just, it yeah oh yeah. that's that's the life, man, right? That is the life. <laughs> I mean, it might be a short life, but that's the life. <laughs> that yeah, live it to the fullest, man. Live it to the fullest. Oh, mm-hmm. man.